Okay. Uh, it's towards the end of season 10, and I think they usually do like one big update with some pretty big changes uh, before the end of the season. This one says, they just tweeted this out like an hour ago or something. Our upcoming V10.4 update improves aim assist and sensitivity settings for controllers and adds the combine to test your skill. So that sounds like a, like a little game mode that's just like a, like an aim trainer. There's kind of a lot here. Uh, we're going to go through it and try and try and understand it. So, just, oh, the combine. Okay, new playlist called the combine where you can test these changes and compete to be the fastest to complete these challenges. Okay. So it is like a game mode where or it's like, uh, it's like, uh, what's the pit? Is that what it's called in the old COD game? I forgot what it was. Was that NW2, right? All right. New controller sensitivity. That sounds like every, uh, YouTube title in the controller community, new controller sens sensitivity, including me controller sensitivity has received a rework with, and a new option screen that has, uh, that I cannot read has been added. There are now 10 sensitivity presets to choose, or you can navigate to the advanced settings screen for much deeper customization tools. Find a full list of these options below. Any improvements to like customizing stuff? I welcome it. I love it. So they, there's a basic sensitivity. So look sensitivity, how quickly your view rotates. Uh, improvements made to diagonal aiming to make it consistent regardless of the horizontal vertical sensitivity ratio. That's nice. That's like, um, that's just going to make everything smoother. Probably make a lot of up close fights a lot easier and manageable. Uh, aim, uh, ADS, how quickly your view rotates while aiming down sights. So this is like, uh, basic, I don't know. This is just the basic screen. This is not in the advanced settings part that's coming. So they have ADS sensitivity, build mode sensitivity and multiplier it is applied to look sensitivity when in build mode since settings less than 1.0 will decrease okay that, that's standard stuff so there's like there's a, they they up the sensitivity you can go higher now i guess than what you could do before so we're gonna have to do we're gonna have to do some challenges or something edit mode sensitivity multiplier uh, same thing so maximum setting for build and edit mode multiplier has been increased it was only two i think it was only two now it goes up to five. Advanced look sensitivity. Okay, look horizontal speed. Turning horizontal boost. Add an additional left right rotation speed applied when the controller stick is fully deflected. Using boost allows for quicker turns when while maintaining look precision. Set to zero percent to disable horizontal boost. That's interesting too. I don't know. I don't know what that's going to be like at all. This is we. This is gonna be weird. There's gonna be people with some whacked out settings. Uh, turning vertical boost. Uh, this one, same thing except vertical. Um, turning boost ramp time. The time it takes to reach the boost speed when the controller stick is fully deflected. A setting of zero will cause the boost to kick in instantly. Oh. Hmm. Instant boost when building. Enable this setting to ignore the boost ramp time when in build mode. The boost speed will engage instantly when the stick is fully deflected when in build mode. I, I don't fully understand that, but I don't know. Okay, advanced ADS. ADS horizontal speed. How quickly? You, okay, that's uh, horizontal, vertical. Okay, it's the same thing. So turning with a uh, boost and then boost ramp time so if you want it instantly or not and advanced sensitivity <clears throat> look dampening time what does that mean the time it takes to reach the expected look rotation speed after applying initial input to the controller's look stick all right can i get it in simpler terms this allows for small view adjustments by tapping the stick okay Set to zero if you want to disable the dampening. Okay. Okay, so it's, this allows a small view small view adjustments by tapping the stick. So you can just go lightly, even if you have a higher sensitivity, I think. If you move left lightly on the stick, it'll just barely move over. Look, input curve defines how input from the controller's look stick is processed. 
linear uses linear uses the raw stick input exponential causes the smaller stick movement to have less of an effect allowing for more precision okay it's kind of similar to this it sounds like they're talking about like the reaction time like almost a version of dead zone sensitivity i want to say and then aim assist strength oh whoa how much aim assist to apply what a setting of 0% will disable aim assist. Lowering the setting is not recommended. So you can like turn it almost off, but then, okay, that actually like might be decent for practicing because you can kind of turn it to like half aim assist while you're warming up doing 1v1s or something. Then when you go into pubs, scrims, arena, anything like that, turn it all the way up. It's going to feel a lot better. Honestly, kind of like that. We've also added the option to change back to your old legacy controls if you'd like to. Okay, good. So it technically didn't force the update. You can just do whatever you want, I guess. Or I don't. I. I don't know. We've been, okay. New controller aim assist. Wait, didn't this just say new aim assist? New controller sensitivity. Oh, new controller aim assist. Okay. We've implemented a new aim assist. Yeah, I was doing all sensitivity before. A uh, system that calculates targets in screen space, which allows a more consistent view regardless of that target's range. A new system applies different aim assist strengths based on the, that target's distance from the reticle. Aim assist now tracks multiple targets and will apply assistance based on a weighting algorithm. This will help in situations where targets can steal aim assist away from an existing target already being focused on. Okay, good. So you're not going to get dragged away from whatever you're aiming at if something else flies by the screen. We have also removed the ability to use target snapping, aka left trigger spam. With these new aim assist improvements, we no longer feel it's necessary. Lastly, crosshairs now turn red when while pointed at an enemy target that is within effective range, which is any time be before damage drop off is applied. No more L2, bros. That's... That's tragic. That's tragic. Now our now our aim isn't going to be as good. Our building's already not as good. Yikes. Um, who knows, though? I don't know. Might be fine. This is the... Okay, the combine. This is the combine place where you can put your skill and muscle memory to test. Here's your goal. Here, here your goal is to reach the end as fast as possible while eliminating all targets along the way. Practice with and fine-tune your settings. Warm up your aim before a match. Okay, this might be a pre-game thing that you can do. Like while you're queuing up or something. Like queuing up for arena maybe. Or complete for the fastest time on the leaderboard. Maybe it's not. I don't know. I hope so. Yeah, with friends or other players. Each leaderboard provides options to start times by your preferred, preferred input. Dude, did I just read any of that right? Each leaderboard provides options to sort times by your preferred input device, whether that be keyboard and mouse, controller, or touch. Uh, share your top games with us on social media, blah, 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 blah. Okay. That's a lot. I, I want to say the update's coming tomorrow. Maybe it is. But uh, if not, or what, whether or not, let's just wait and see. See what happens in this. Um, the The season ends in... What does it end in? The season ends in 11 days. So th I think this, this update will probably happen tomorrow. And then... Uh, I don't know. We're going to... We're going to try all these things out. But... Anyways, um, yeah, that was a lot. That was, a, holy moly, they, huge controller, that's the biggest controller update, one of, one of the biggest they've ever had, um, but we'll see, we'll see how effective it is. If you're still watching, put RIP L2 in the chat, we're gonna miss it, we're gonna miss it so much, I'm about the L2 so much today. I'll see you guys later though. Not even recording, first of all. So that's good. That's always a good sign. What?
Oh my gosh, she really took aim from there. It took damage. There's no way he's still alive. That's so not good. This is where it's not good. Oh my gosh, this dude just didn't even do anything. That was just an awkward spot to be. Nineteen, right? Eighteen.